Uh, I'm gonna turn to Sarek and say, Sarek, here you stand, adorned in the things that you have pillaged from my people, and you wanna try and kill me and my friends. All you do is run away, you fucking coward. Fight me, one on one, now. And hello, welcome to Who Lives Who Dice. My name is Matt Bayman. I am joined, as always, by the Sapphire Sasha Burgoyne, Ooh. the Garnet Guy Samuels, the Ruby Rose Red on, and always, as always, the Diamond himself, David Cox. Oh. We've had to retire Cabid for uh, say, contractual I... reasons. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to kill the next fucker that said it. <laughs> Which would be Matt. Classic <laughs> 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 Um, yeah, it's good. Uh, we've got a couple of things uh, planned for this evening, all nice and fun and light. Uh, as we can see, we've got a little map already drawn out, but we want to crack on because I feel like the anxiety is creeping in. <laughs> just, <laughs> just a little. We're gonna. Do, we're absolutely still gonna do the question thing. Um, oh yeah. Rose, do you want to roll a d4 for me, please? One. One. So we'll go one from you, David. That's you. Uh, okay. Do I, <laughs> I do I ask a question? You ask a question. Shit. The one time I didn't think of one. Yeah. The one. Ooh, the, the one, one time. time. The one time. Guy. Yeah. Uh, if D twenty two was going to have a hairstyle, <laughs> what would it be and why? That's such an amazing question. That's, That's a great a question. question. Mm -hmm. um, if you could grow. Uh, I say human -y kind of hair, but if you could grow hair, it would be um, long, dirty, uh, silver curls. Ooh. Oh, yeah. that went places. Yeah. It did. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you saw it and you like explored that a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, when, when David said that, I immediately thought it's a mullet. It's got to be a filthy mullet. I was mullet. mohawk. Yeah. If you say mullet, then you have to leave. What's wrong with the mullet? No. Don't diss the mullet. Hang on, so does oh, that mean that Rose I would, I would if I could. I would if I could. We're going to talk about this off camera. We really are. This and is... if you ever try to do that, I know. <laughs> end, don't. end of campaign if Matt grows so, a mullet. So, whenever any of our characters die, they're coming back with mullets now, yeah. apart from roses. Done. Uh, I think, yeah. We still, need a, we still need a party name, I think. I think the well, mullet. The mullets. Die, let's let's, yeah. let's yeah. Mullet. mullet over. Because right now, <laughs> I'm going to take a look. so much. I'm going to take a little off the top. I like that. Imagine having to live with this. Imagine this. Oh, oh. Maybe we need to trim this intro down. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you guys let's. Uh, have a great day for this. Thank you. A let's, day where let's I feel in the fucking mood. Let's fade into the intro. Uh, strap yourselves in. We're in for a doozy. Make sure you're writing notes. And here we go for episode 17 of Who Lives, Who Dice. Several revelations are about to be revealed. Last time, Mayway learned as the rest of the party that any sort of contact with Milo was not a good idea as we learned she instantly cast defensive spells upon Embrace, friendly or otherwise, as Milo proceeded to harm her friend mistakenly. Shortly after, our friends arrived in Milford's, drinking in the ale and the entertainment of the fighting ring. After making friends with a local trader, earlier that day. Settling in and still feeling a little bit suspicious, Asuka, the heads of the last pick, stepped forward to announce the next fight, but not before revealing himself to be none other than Sarek Cave Fury himself, stepping down, launching Mayway across the room and disabling an illusion spell revealing that the once joyful pub was not as friendly as all once seemed. You now stand, Sarah Cave Fury facing you, 
and approximately 20 other patrons brandishing swords, axes, and picks in your direction. Sarek's up there at the moment. No, yeah, I know. I'm just trying to see where Alexi is, but my glasses uh, Oh, we're not down so there yet. we're not. Oh, okay. Only you are Only down. I am down yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, we've not been positioned yet. So, Sarek K. Fury stands at the base. The rest of you are around a table. Uh, Alexi, I'm going to let you determine where you would like the three of you to start. Mm. Where Alexi would like the three of us to start. Yes. Why doesn't Alexi get to um, I would imagine, and people can correct me if wrong, that we would be congregated here around Mayway. Well, she got pushed away from us. Oh. So we were on this table with the yeah, other okay. the, orc, so, the, the like, orc is... Oh god, I can't do my gesture thing. That here, I would say. Very good, so Lexi, I'm gonna have you here. As you step forward and ignited your sword, yes, and I Radiant did do Flame that. has come out. D22, you look on, still um, disguised at this point. Mm -hmm. On the other end, with these four staring onto you, and Myla okay. on the opposite side, flanking Sarah K. Fury somewhat. You come all this way. You walk into my lair. You come with a cursed outcast, a walking teapot, and something else. I'd like you all to roll initiative, please. <laughs> So I'm the cursed teapot. Who's everybody no. else? <laughs> Which one of us two is the cursed teapot? <laughs> I'd assume you. I thought you. Right. Ooh, ooh that's what I want to see. Yep. Yes, bitch. Okay. <laughs> yes, bitch. Oh, it's not what we wanted to see. Twenty-five to twenty. Yo. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Alexi, cool. Twenty to fifteen. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. No one else? No, no, no. 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 9. 6. Oof. Okay. Guys, guys. Like, I'm going to put a big space in the middle to be filled by Sarah K. Fury. And all <laughs> his bitches. Yeah, and his bitches. And his I bitches. <laughs> cool. Um, well, we know who's doing the... Mm -hmm. So, before we start, a couple of things to, to sort of point out. It's open air at this point. You could leave it pretty much any side if you wanted to. Um, as Sarek revealed himself, the more insightful of you would have realized, people also got up to leave, not out of fear, but just getting out of the way. Um, each person is holding a weapon, whether it's a sword, an axe, or a pick, all glowing slightly with that faint blue ethereal light. Sarek himself is holding a staff adorned with Rolinthian, pulsing somewhat unnaturally in, in, in an uneven rhythm. Um, and you can see it slightly adorned on his armor as it sort of pulses all around him. He sort of quivers a little bit, staring down at you, Mayway. Um, I'll give anyone a free perception roll before we start this, if you want to have any more other lay of the room. Yeah, I'll, I'll take give that. You any more yep. other information. Same. Uh, that would be a 23. 23. Ugh, nope, two. Cool. Uh, with a 23, you're scanning around as the whole room is distracted by Mayway being launched into the box, Myla. Um, you notice that there's a large canvas tent holding the room up, suspended, <clears throat> one in each corner, by somewhat crumbling foundations, which mirrors the rest of the town as you saw it. You also see, directly above you, about 15 feet in the air, um, a large, swirling chandelier, not attached to anything, but crudely made of rylinthium, in distorted patterns, slightly crickling and cracking. Um, small bits of what appear to be bone and dark material weave their way in between it flexes in and out a little bit. And with a 23 also say, with that sort of call, you would notice it seems to mirror Sarek K. Fury's staff and the breathing of the rest of the weapons in the room. <coughs> it's hovering about how, up in the center. How high is it? It's about 15 feet in the air, levitating. All right. There's a Phantom of the Opera chandelier in a Weatherspoons is what basically is what you're telling there me. There is a Phantom of the Opera Chandelier and a weather spoons that Sarah K. Fury has had dominion over for quite a long time now. Which is not suspended, it just appears to be floating there at this point. With a 21 initiative, Alexi. Oh, we drop it on him. Oh, okay, right. So suspended. everyone around here is armored. Uh, sorry, armed. Everyone is armed. Okay. At this point. And I'm not in melee range of anyone just yet. At this point, you're not in melee range yet. Right. At this point, no. Okay, so Alexi will. Um, cast a glance over at D22 and Myla, mm -hmm. uh, he'll go, 
we, 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 uh, get, get us on where, where, the, where they can only come on us from one side. And he's yep. going to turn around and go straight for that fucker right there. This one at the front? Yeah. Cool. Cool. What I will say, with the sheer number, we're not running 20 different initiatives. These enemies are attacking in groups. So when you make an attack roll, whether mm. a spell attack or a melee attack, unless it's very specifically picking off one person, you'll be attacking them in pods and groups. These are going to be separated into a group here, a group here, a group here, and a group here in different sort of sizes. Yeah. Is how this is going to work. Yeah, so yeah. With this, Alexi wants to cut his way through that group. Yeah, you'll be cutting your way through this group. Cool. Yeah. Uh, make an attack roll for me, please. This is a very cool battle map, by the way. It's so cool. I wish I could appreciate it. That this. is a 19 natural on the dice. 19 absolutely hits, that is fine. Uh, let's go for this one, and my um, enchantment is already up. So that's... Um, do you want it all together, the uh, Slashing and the Radiant? Total, just to give me total damage, cool. please. 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. So. You quickly turn, you run, you leap up, you cut through this person on the axe, which is starting there on on Mayway, is taken down. You jump up and yep. take out the second one, climbing over with it with a long cleaver in her hand and cut her down as well. Um, I will say you've still got about ten feet of movement left if you want to. Um, you cut two, you cut two of them down. As Alexi cuts through the second one, he is going to turn at the those other two and as using the rest of my movement to run between them, is going to uh, Extend his fangs. Yep. His eyes turn red and he just goes. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'll make an intimidation roll, please. Not very good at those, but. Natural one. Natural yeah. one. <laughs> Don't ruin my moment. No. You sort of spit in their face a little bit. Natural one, I'm actually going to ruin your moment. Cool. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to do? Nah, that's it. Cool. On initiative 20, Sarek is going to use a lair <laughs> action. What? Sarek looks at this. Oh, oh. Mm, oh shit. Well, I, uh, <clears throat> I see. That is how it's going to be. Uh, he grips his staff tight mm. and he concentrates and it begins to glow with the swirling crystal at the top. Using the crystal at the top, he's going to cast mirror image on himself and you look as Sarek starts to duplicate, turn doubles and then quadruples. There are now four of him standing in that one spot. He has not moved, he's not done anything else. Do you have three extra Sarek figures to put there so we can uh, I, yeah, No, I don't. Oh my god, just, I thought yeah. if you were going to No, I, I don't have that much money to spend on minis, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, cool, that was his lair action. Uh, we're now going to go down to the first sort of pack, which are going to be these six here. Uh, they're going to start advancing towards oh. you, Myla. Oh, oh. good. Hug her. Sarek doesn't even look as they sort of come past. They're going to surround you. Uh, let's see, we're going to have three in range on that point, so we're going to roll an attack roll on that. Uh, it's a net, fuck me. A. Natural one. A. Great, great start. Taking a photo of that for later, that's some bullshit. Uh, they come in, but a little bit too keen, it would seem. They sort of lock themselves up, can't get quite past the steps. Sarek is oozing some sort of power, and they get a little bit lost in the middle of that. Cool. Uh, that's their turn. Mayway, you've been launched into these crates here in the corner. You're currently lying oh. prone, slightly hurt. What would you like to do? Oh, fucking hell. All right, I'm going to get to my feet. Cool, half movement. Oh, May <clears throat> Mayway's going to get to her feet. There you go. There we go. Find the southern. <clears throat> Um, and, um, as, as she's getting up, she's just going to lift one palm out and cast, a uh, Frostbite at, uh, Sarah K. Fury. Go for it. Yep. Uh, what save do I need to make, please? Uh, b -b 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 uh, as a con save. Yep. DC 10. DC 10 not, con save. Yeah, it's not high. Uh, rolled a natural 13. Yep. Cool. So, Fuck. Sarah just stays there, takes it, it, it blasts over, catches the bed a little bit. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Uh, your uh, friends were much, much more better than that, and I still killed them. What else would you like to do? Bonus action. Yep. I'm going to manifest my echo directly cool. behind him. Directly behind? Mm -hmm. Or, well, to the side, because we've got this guy in the way. Cool. Can I just, what's the maximum range you can put your echo down at? Uh, the intention is to put her there. Cool. Now, let's go to the echo page. I think, that, I think that's fine. It's still within 30 feet, so that should be all right. Oh, manifest echo uh, in an unoccupied space within 15 feet. 15 feet. So that would be the closest you can get would be 
here. Can I have used some more of my movement you can to step absolutely forward move so, that she can bop, yep. so that she can bop? I'll allow him. that, and then you can bop uh, yeah. there. So that's all your movement used, and now your echo appears behind. Okay. Less dancing, a little more uncertain. Sarah doesn't even seem phased, still locking eyes with you. Ideally, he wouldn't have seen her yet. Cause yeah. Cool. Anything else you would like to do? That's my turn. Cool. That's your turn. All right. The next pack is going to go. Um, these three at the top there, seeing this and seeing Alexi start to cut down, um, are each going to throw. Um, not throw. Sorry, they're each going to pull out a short bow and take a shot. They're each going to throw a short bow. Actually. Throw a short bow. Uh, that's going to be 15, 18 to hit. Hits. 18 hits. Uh, cool. You take 15 points of piercing damage. Fuck, fuck, fuck. It was quite heavy. Yeah. That's a third right there. Cool. Uh, the next one, the next pack is going to go in this corner. Uh, D22, they're going to start advancing on you. One, two, one, two, three. Up on the table. This one doesn't quite make it. Um, cool. Uh, that's going to be a natural 14 plus. Yeah, uh, that's going to be 19 to hit. Oh, 19 hits. 19 hits. Cool. Uh, you also take 15 points of damage. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, that's not good. No, it's not good. Okay. I am not well. Heal yourself. I can't. Ah, oh, I can. Okay. You can? Isn't there a little potion in his old pocket, eh? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, I think about mine, isn't it? That's because you drink yours. Is it, thank Oh, yeah. Use your potion. Uh, I think it's an action to use your. It, it's a bonus, bonus action, action on yourself. Drink your own. An action on someone else. else. Yeah, you can use Thank a bonus you. action. Cool. Jesus, that was <laughs> yeah, <laughs> perfectly like, uh, in time. Like the <laughs> it's now Sarek's turn. Lovely. It was a lair action. Was the first thing you did. Oh fuck. Sarek, first of all, is going to use a. Yeah, you're a bit close. He's going to use a bonus action to misty step. Up into the ring. Cool. Uh, four of them now all stand at the front, jeering and watching on as the others start to slowly envelop and surround you. Please, I expected more. What is this? That's still cool. Uh, D22, you're up. I didn't realize he was French. Mm. When did he become French? Last week. <laughs> <laughs> there you go then. Thank you. Thank you, voice of God. I'm going um, no worries. spinning hat attack, please, on the three that are immediately, four that are immediately around me. Uh, yes, yes, you absolutely can do that. Uh, make an attack roll, please. <laughs> oh, 11. Plus? plus. Uh, six no. plus five. No. Ah. Uh, sorry, they're with me. I've got, I've got a lot of ACs. Yeah. I've got it written down right. 11 just hits. Oh! oh wow, well, sir. Cool. Uh, roll damage, please. Okay. So, just double check it. 1d8 plus 3. Nice shirt, Sash. Thank you. <laughs> 14 plus 3. 14. Yes, 11. 11, 11 total? Yeah. <laughs> cool. This is an area of effect attack. Um, so, it's not. 11 total, it's 11 each. Mm -hmm. yep. So you immediately whip off your wok and it spins right around, slicing the legs of all four of them as each of them drop to the ground. Hero! Instantly cut down. What the fuck? Whoa. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Bonus action Bonus or movement? Action, uh, Eldritch Cannon, please. Eldritch Cannon? Sure. Who would you like to shoot? Um, straight forward to the, that stream directly behind me to take out those three there, I guess, if I can. These three? Yeah, you yeah. can absolutely, absolutely do that. Cool. Uh, yeah, make make your attack roll, please. Thank okay. you. Six total. Six total. Uh, six doesn't hit. Yep. You hit it, feeling very sure of yourself. You go to shoot, and <laughs> doesn't quite go off. Cool. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, can I try and get up the ladder? Um, yep, yeah, you can. Yep, yeah, that will use the rest of your movement, but that's completely fine. Let's do that. Cool, great. You get to the top. These three immediately turn to face you. Fine. I'll cool. Take that next time. Hi, mate. <laughs> Myla, you're up. Oh, okay. Um, Good job, No buddy. one rolled like trash then, <laughs> apart from us. Um, have you ever heard of defecting? <laughs> okay. Um, 
I am going to cast. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. This is really difficult. Um, okay. I am going to bonus action shillelagh. Sure. And then. The ice crawls up your staff. Oh, wait, no. Like no, that's fine. Okay, it's fine. It's an action. And then with my action, I'm going to cast Thorn Whip yep. at the chandelier. At the chandelier. Which will pull it 10 feet towards me. Okay. Yep. Uh, that's, that's completely fine. Um, it's an object that's almost in a fell. Does it take any damage? Uh, yes. Can you roll damage, please? Oh my god. It comes down. It's gonna blow the fuck up. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't take much damage. Does it take damage? Yes. But it does take damage. Cool. That's a four. It's a four. You concentrate for a moment and Vine suddenly shoots out and wrap around the crystal and starts to pull. <gasps> pulling it, dragging it down. And, um, with your insight, Sarek, for a minute. Touch of concern as it drags down towards you. It is now five feet in the air, but well within melee distance for any of you if you want, if you decide You're to hit welcome. it. <laughs> cool. The final pack are going to go. Uh, these three. Uh, three? These two, sorry, these two. Thank you. Uh, are both going to make an attack roll on you, Alexi. Uh, it's a natural 19, uh, which automatically hits, so it's going to take another 10 points of damage, please. Yep. Cool. I spit blood I'm, on I'm just them. assuming you've raised your... Yes. yes. Cool. Lovely, thank you. Top of initiative. Alexi, you're up. Fuck these guys in particular. Um, yeah, Alexi... Uh, Alexi is going to... Uh, just, yeah, he's going to go and stab at them because I need these guys dead. Cool, go for it. need to minimise numbers. Right. Don't fuck me. No, it's an eight. That's an eight. Eight misses, I'm really sorry. Seeing how you move before, you go and they, they block you. The almost unnatural movement comes through. One pickaxe blocks it, you pull the short sword out. But it's weight a little bit different than the rape, you go for the other. I don't want to you coming in. No dice. Can I at all use my movement to um, position myself so one of these, this guy is a human shield if these pricks decide to shoot me So again. you want to take cover? I will, I'll say no for him, but if you want to take cover behind these barrels, you absolutely can. If that'll you get a put me cover. out of... Uh, that'll give me an attack of opportunity. Anyway. I will say the minions, they do not get attacks or reactions, so there will be no attack of opportunity. For reasons that will become clear shortly. Okay, if they're not getting an attack of opportunity then... Uh, don't, in, don't get excited. <laughs> no. No, no, instead, Alexi is going to break off and run upstairs to flank here. Mm. To flank where, sorry? Here. Yep, absolutely. You push through, you so it's part of your fighting. Yeah. One, two, you get through and you come up to the back. Yeah. That's all your movement to get here. That's fine. Blocking between the two. Cool. Initiative 20. Sarah K. Fury seeing this. Oh, is this will not do? Is this will not do? He grips his staff. I need all four of you to roll a d4, please. Two. Health one. Uh, start with you. Uh, two. Yep. Cool. Three. Three? Four. Four? One. One. Hey! Right. Mm. Perfect. Starting with your two, it glows for a second and the small swirling energy comes down. It's like <sighs> a scream almost emanating a little bit from each one. These two stand back up. Oh, no. Uh, four? Three. Yeah. Three. Dying today. Oh no! One? Four. Four? One. One more. Cool. Oh, All fuck of them off. stand back up. Clear action over. I cut their legs off. <laughs> and he yet. did cut their legs off. He did cut their legs off! They, can they be stuck? Can so, they be on stumps? They grow back. Yeah. 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 Their legs Did the radiant back? damage do anything against oh. the clearly undead nope. people? They're not on. <laughs> okay. Now they are. Now they're undead. Maybe. Sorry, you... No, 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 no. Okay, like, I, I know what I'm doing next. Okay. Yeah, same. Eat corpse? Nope. No. Uh, Fuck chandelier. <laughs> Swing from the chandelier? <laughs> it's that or run. I was thinking I was going to run up and so that we're all up on that, like, or at least all three of us, because they yeah. don't get opportunity attacks if we go past them. Mm. Okay, you are. Oh, so that's fine. What does Mayway want to do? You can say I led the way. You've done below ten. Completely intentionally. Uh, 
Milo, how much health do you have? No, 39. Cool, and you take... 25 points of damage. As these five all start cutting away at you. Oh. Cool. Oh Mayway. Yeah. You're up. Okay, great. <laughs> there isn't a grid on this battle map. Could you tell me how far Sorry, Fury is Sarah away Kate from? Sarah Fury is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten spaces away from you with the elevation. Okay. Um, and how far away is he from my One, echo? One, two, three, four. I'd say five, but you would also need to get closer because it'd be beyond your 30 place, 30 range. It's at the end of your turn though, so you could move your echo, do what you want to do, but the echo would disappear at the end of the turn if yeah, you're not yeah, within yeah, 30 okay. feet. I understand. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna turn to Sarek and say, Sarek! Here you stand, adorned in the things that you have pillaged from my people, and you want to try and kill me and my friends. All you do is run away, you fucking coward. Fight me, one on one, now. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to intimidate him or persuade him into... Make, Dueling. Make yeah. a persuasion attempt. What's that thing, force duel? Compel yeah. duel, yeah. Make, make a persuasion attempt. Probably not enough. Thirteen. Do you know how many of your kind I have slaughtered? How many sought me out? I've been toying with you for months, and you come here, you walk in. Well, because you failed. Did you leave your cloak at the library? Did you remove it out of shame? No. Incompetence, right? You lost it? Just like you're going to lose your life here and now. Come fight me yourself, but no, you will end up just like your friends. What would you like to do? I'll give you that as a free action. Oh shit, free action. Oh. <laughs> okay, it was um, just It was cool, it was thematic. Uh, um, my echo is gonna float up towards Sarek. Cool, it's fine. Um, kind of like in the craft with the toes dragging along the floor. And then, I will uh, use my bonus action mm -hmm. and trade places with her. Cool. So your echo floats up, glides, lands, and immediately <laughs> you switch places. Cool. Uh, what would you like to do? I'm going to fucking hit him with my finger. Okay. So. Oh, mirror image. Mirror image Shit. is still up. D4 or me or you? Uh, I need to roll. You want me to roll a five or lower? I'm going to do this on the table in front of you and David. No. Nope. <laughs> Seventeen. It is. Uh, make an attack roll. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, uh, duh, 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 duh. Yeah, that's going to hit. Uh, Nineteen. Uh, Nineteen. You you swirl your blade, goes through one of the images, immediately dissipates and disappears. There are now three Sarah Kate Furies laughing at you. What else would you like to do? Uh, that's my turn. That's your turn. Okay. Cool. Lovely stuff. Pack two. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Miss. Seventeen misses. Yeah, it does. Yeah, cool. Miss, miss. Pack three. Uh, is just these two guys, these three guys are also gonna, only one can get up here, so one's gonna have one more go. We're gonna pretend these other two are on the ladder because they can't get past each other. Uh, that's also gonna miss on that front, so that's a miss, miss, what the hell? Healthy and stealthy. Yeah, shut healthy. up. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> we need shirts to say just, that. Just, just stealthy. Oh, healthy and stealthy on the back says, take 29 points of blood <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Where is a funky wizard belt? Oh, he's gone now. No, he's there. Oh, you're on the D&D Beyond thing. Mm. Yeah. Wizard belt. Sarek is up. He takes one look at you. He takes a staff and he's going to attempt to oh, hey, got... stick you with it. That's better than him running again, I swear to fucking God. 
but uh, I might be about to die. It's a 16. Uh, it doesn't hit. AC 17. With? Shield, studded leather. No, leather. I, did I get, no, I got studded leather back because I yeah. bought it at, from, from. I don't think you got, oh, I don't think it was studded. I think it might've been regular leather. Either way, my IAC used to be 18 and now it's 17. Okay, I which means it will point. be only 17. Okay, so 17 misses then. Okay. Cool, that's fine. Uh, in which case then. Or I, rather, no, I like dance out, dance out of the way. Dance out of the way. With a nice little dodge, little yeah. clip behind the air, sort of, sort of thing. Okay. Upon seeing that, ah, he's gonna misty step. Wait, Sentinel? Can I do that? No, not oh. against, no, not against misty not step. Against cool. Uh, right. That's his turn. I need my stress breaks. D twenty two. Why well, I've changed something that worked last time, so I'm gonna go for the, the hat attack on my three friends up the top there, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll allow that. I'll allow you to get into position. That works. Hat attack. Because it's crowded. Cool, hat attack, uh, go for it. Beautiful. Worked last time. Oh, for fuck's sake, nine. Nine, seeing it this time, they all jump at the same time. <laughs> uh, doesn't do anything, I'm very sorry. You still got your bonus action, you still got your movement. Three, two, one. I'm gonna, um, oh, oh. I'm gonna run past them. Cool. Please. Joining with D22? No. Alexi. Alexi, yes. sorry. Yep, thank you. Do, do, do. Two, three. Cool. You can get just here. Still got your bonus action. You've still, you've still got a free use of your cannon if you want it. <laughs> nice. Or you can use the potion Drink. as well. Use yep. the potion, please. Drink. Cool. Hold up. Right, uh, so it's whatever you roll plus four. Is it yeah. four dice or two? There is four, there's four dice in there. Four, four. So, so four. yeah, so plus four. four of those. Plus four. Plus yeah. four, yeah. Beautiful, let's go. One big. Oof. Oof. Six, seven, eleven. Hang on, how are you reading the number at the top there? No, number at the bottom. It's the one that's oh, okay. up, most upright. That's rubbish then, isn't it? Cool, but you heal You heal eleven hit points back. Thank you very much. Uh, how, how does that look? Can you just describe what that looks like a robot drinking a health potion, please? <laughs> yeah, uh, so it comes. It, it, it's red, it comes in, it feeds down the gullet, and leaves the back almost immediately, but leaves blue. So something has happened on its way through, but it still wow. comes out. Very cool, very cool. Do you just fart out a little bit of blue liquid in the middle of combat then? You're just yeah, peeing, just peeing nice, out. Like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. The guy behind like a, you is like, oh. Like a faulty <laughs> washing machine. <laughs> it's like you get a bit of detergent like stuck on your, like, your shirt or something, yeah. from like a pod. Cool. Oh my god. So if I can't, yeah, 11 points. 11 points. Down. Mila. And that's just like, I'm gonna run up there as well. Good girl. Okay, That'd cool. Be, yeah. Do uh, I need to get rid of the out. two guys on the ladder? On my way out. Uh, or are they they are going to block your down? way, yes. Okay. Can I use Thorn Whip to pull the one who's at the top down with the other one presumably behind him as uh, well? Make an attack roll and let's find out. Uh, add your spell casting modifier. Add my. my sp yeah, so add d20, because normally Thorn Whip's a, a save, correct? Or is it no, 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 no. It's oh, an sorry. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, just yeah. Make, make, it a, make it your, yeah. your attack roll then. I was going to say, I was like. What? Sorry, I thought it was a save normally. Uh, oh, lovely. Um, 14 plus 11, 21. Absolutely, 100% <laughs> hits. Um, cool, so that is three points of damage, but also, yeah, I've just yanked them down the stairs. Three points of damage, cool. Um, I'm gonna say with height on that, I'm gonna yank them down. They're both gonna take a d6 of falling damage as well. Uh, it's an extra three. So, one falls, dead. The other one looks a little bit hurt, but they're still climbing up. I'm going to use my reaction. No, that one falls dead. Go on, man. Alex is just going to reach out and control it. Uh, the thing, like a sort of broken marionette, is going to reach up and try and attack the chandelier. Okay. Hey. Make, make an attack roll for me, please. Uh, sure. I'll smash. Do I want to boost it? That's costing With your my hit points. points. No. Yeah. Not right now, no. Uh. 17 on the dice. Absolutely hits. What am I rolling for damage? <gasps> Just, uh... I love Dungeons and Dragons. D6. One. One. <laughs> but I will say it looks less like a marionette than what it has previously. There's a little bit more, I don't know, grace to it, almost. It comes in, it slams. Oh, you're getting good at this. Yeah. And then drops on the ground dead. Cool. Uh, still your turn. Yeah. So there is one guy hurt in between. Cool. But you could get around that. Great. I'm, yeah. In that case, I'm just gonna like, yeah, try and leap up the ladder ahead of it. Like, yeah. Cool. 
you are gonna like end up in the middle here of these three guys. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hugs. Cool. Anything else you would like to do? Um, I. Um, I think. Also. Yeah. Your, your echoes. Bonus action. Uh, I'm gonna gone. healing word myself. Yep. Um, so yeah, just gonna do my standard. Cool. Great stuff. Like shouting at myself. Give yourself I'll... a little pep talk. Yeah. <laughs> That's how Myla talks to herself, yes. Yeah. Oh, no, I just assumed that was Cyril. Aww. Aww. That's that's devastating. Uh, cool, so I've got an extra... Hey, wait, where's your Cyril toy? Eight points of damage. I'll explain. Okay. <laughs> um, the, you saw it yesterday. Oh. The dog has it. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a dog toy. Oh. Um, all right. <laughs> um, Not using this one. Yeah, cool. So three plus five, I'll sort that out. Cool, cool, cool. Lovely stuff. All right. Uh, Fun on pack four. So this one's going to join this pack. This one's going to come here. This one's dead at the moment. Hello. Not quite, so they're not going to bother you at the moment. They're at the top of the stairs. This one's at the bottom of the stairs. Cool. So it's going to be an attack roll on you, Alexi. Lovely. Natural 17, uh, 10 points. Right. 10. Yep. Ooh, what are you on now? Okay. 10. <laughs> Lexi, top of initiative. Um, lovely, lovely, lovely fucking stuff. Uh, okay. Problems clear the chandelier, like fighting these things isn't getting us anywhere. Can I? Because I'm down next go anyway, might as well make this one mean something. Uh, can I get from here to, the chandelier's like here, right Matt? Chandelier's bang the center, center yep, right right here in the middle of the room. Using my movement and going down the crates, can I get there? If you make a decent acrobatics check, I will say yes. It's not not like a crazy high roll. I but wish you I could guidance roll. you. You're fine. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Cool. Make an acrobatics check for me. Uh, we're going to say you need at least a 14. Yeah, fine. <gasps> cool. You immediately jump. Boom, boom, boom. Run straight to the center. Yep, you're bang in the thick of it. And he, uh, short sword in the back of the hands, can jump and just smash it straight into the chandelier. Go for it. Make an attack roll, please. Oh. That's cocked. cocked. Uh, natural 16 on the dice. Absolutely. 22. Hits. It takes uh, six, 11, it takes 15 damage in total. 15 damage in total? Yeah. Perfect. You come running in, jumping off the dead body of the one you marionetted just before. <laughs> you it as a step. It sinks in, and this time the radiant damage starts to react. <laughs> Something's happening. Cool. Uh, gonna go into the lair action again. Mm hmm. Get those every round. Top, top, on initiative 20 every time. At least until this thing's gone. Well, I don't know if it blows up, then. It's gonna then we all die. In a blaze of glory, In Rose. a blaze of glory! <laughs> He's gonna get a free misty step. What? what? Layer action, give him a free misty step. Yeah. Oh it's because he's being powered by the he's, chandelier. He's channeling. Cocking cunt. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna. One, two, yeah, he's gonna just appear on the corner here. Oh, oh why? Oh, I could have done he's got without 30, that. 30 feet of movement. <laughs> no, just why? Now, just is, the, now is the time. Yeah, they're gonna touch you. <laughs> cool. Pack one. Pile. Uh, I have pile. a thing I need to. I want to do to the chandelier, but I'm not gonna be able to do it with. Do we know how much the chandelier's got? Health, I guess not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I mean, I'm gonna. It, it I'm definitely gonna just took and, some damage there. Yeah, I'm gonna try and ice knife it. I'm gonna go for it on my turn as well. If Mayway saw it, I need to ask the DM about that. But I might not be alive anymore, judging by what's happening right now. You directly challenge their boss. Yeah, their boss. <laughs> so I think. Right. Stand back, plebs. We're all gonna die, and we're all just gonna become little, little Renanthian marionettes for the rest of our lives. So the rest of the campaign is us just being like. What's the boss saying now? That would actually be a cool campaign, but not right now, please. It's 14. Yeah, Natural 6. I'm taking photos of my dumb rolls, so you guys know I'm not pulling punches here. Uh, cool. 
they they come in, but scram over the line. They just don't really have the time, the coordination to try and even with the extra heads on the weapons. There it doesn't really work for them. Uh, your turn. Hmm. Hmm. Um. All right. Uh, did I see Sarek's reaction when the make an insight check chandelier? And also, a question though, before that, is the chandelier now lower than the fighting pit? Uh, it is. Five? It is now. Yes. So it's about five. So really, it's hovering right right here. Okay. Like just in front of Alexi, just above it. Like you could stand on the table and like hug it if you wanted to. A strange. Uh, let's let's just for a marker. This D twenty. Is the chandelier? Yeah. It's a pretty. Ooh, yeah. Good, good color. color. So, good sorry. color. Thanks, Comic Con. Well, I would say. I mean, I can do the insight check, but also all my friends have been attacking the chandelier, so I think I would know. Yes, but your wisdom. Okay, touche. Yep. <laughs> It's not a high roll. Just let's 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 uh, you know. Pretty pretty wisdom. Oh, so nearly a natural one. <laughs> Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Your your experience in battle tactics. You you recognize a target when you see one. Right. Absolutely, you would know what what that move is. All right. Well, um, in yep. which case, I'm gonna turn around. Fucking sick of chasing Sarah K. Fury, and I'm gonna jump off the side of the ring and come down with the flail onto the chandelier. Okay, cool. So you're gonna jump down and pass. That's yeah, that's fine. Boom, boom, boom. Cut crash. No, 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 not a crash. It's not that high up. Up on the table. Make an attack roll, please. <laughs> Whack. Big one, big one, big one. Yeah, but uh, that's going to hit uh, 17. 17 hits. Excellent. And now the damage part. Uh, it is a D8. Um, eight. Eight. Eight damage. Cool. Eight points of damage. Um, uh, what type of damage, please? Slashing. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Okay. Uh, cool. And then with my... Starts to react a little bit. Go on. Uh, bonus action. Mm -hmm. Can I throw my potion of healing to Alexi? You can, yeah, you absolutely can. Cool. Yep. Care of. Because he's just over the other side. Yep, that's, that's completely Which fine. Kindly. Cool. <laughs> Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's Sarek, get us group two, and then Sarek and Sarek. Push him down to me, so I can smash him. Ooh, make him land on the chandelier and explode. <laughs> you say that like I have any control. Uh, D22, how much health do you have left? How much health? I hear of 24. Hey, so healthy. Mm -hmm. oh, Not anymore. Natural seven. Oh, okay. Here, yeah. I'm throw the like shit tonight, guys. Eight, it's 15. This is. So I, oh, uh, I thought you just need to roll rubbish. I'm going to just fight you. Hmm? Uh, I said Matt's rolling like shit tonight. Oh. I really like your shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. For yeah, no, I, I, like I really shirt. need yeah. Matt to roll like shit. Yeah. I gave you two compliments when I first saw you, and I couldn't do the shirt because it's that naturally disingenuous oh. then. Three yeah, so Milo's, so Milo's almost certainly down. 15. Wait, what? Huh? 15 points of damage. Oh, okay, I'm Did still up. Did you say that you rolled a natural 20 on my No, no 18. No, natural okay. 18. <laughs> okay, I'm still up. 15 points of damage. Just, oh, but Sarek's probably about Sarek's to kill me. Sarek's standing there over you. Should have thrown my Red little fay. Cool. Uh, what? Moving on. Uh, that was two and three. It is now Sarek K. Fury's turn. <laughs> Did I get to go between me and Sarek? You. You're after, you're after Sarek. You're, um, you're next after Sarek. Did you just move out of Myla's uh, attack range? Though? No, he was never in it. He was here and he's now moving in. You know, I, uh, I almost feel sorry for you. It's not your fault you're here, but nonetheless. Clearly. No? Weird. Okay. Uh, cool. He's going to cast on you. This one is one that I don't know. What's he saying? I don't know this one. I'm as confused as you are. I'm a snelf. That's what she wants us to believe. <laughs> no, no, that's genuine. That's genuine alarm right there. Yeah, no, he's, he's seeing what you're up to. Uh, he is going to... That would be more interesting. No. That would be more interesting. No. Yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, see how you do on this side. Uh, he's going to cast Incite Greed okay. on you. He plucks a Rylinthian crystal out 
and tosses it into the center of the ring. Oh, good girl. You could fetch that for me. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me, please. Oh yeah, but that's what she drew. Is this, is this a charm spell? Uh, oh, and she fucking elf. It is a charm spell, so you do have advantage. <laughs> okay, right, okay, okay. A, wisdom save. Wisdom saving. Okay, that's a 14. Okay, so 14 plus seven. So that passes. Okay, not a problem. Milo just goes like. <clears throat> <laughs> Get it yourself. <laughs> She's just like, first you called me a fae, now you're calling me a dog. I d- pick, pick a line. Interesting. I- <laughs> oh well. Uh, he's going to quicken with that, and he's going to. Oh, like what? I thought quicken was a sorcerer. Thing. Mm. Maybe he's a sorcerer. And, oh, for fuck's and he's going to cast Chill Touch on you. Um, oh. Oh, good. Uh, uh, which is a six plus eight, which is 14 to hit. Just hits. Cool. Uh, so you're you going can't to take. Heal. I'm down. You can't. Oh. 2d8. I am. I'm, I've got seven hit points. Uh, I rolled nine. DM, question. Yes. Because she's dead now, does that mean that the um, other effect of chill, ch- chill Touch doesn't. is on her or isn't? Uh. I think that'll Happy be a ruling. First downing. Thank you. This is a player question. Mayway would not know anything about this. <laughs> I'm amazed that smells don't have resistance to cold damage. To heal someone. I mean, it's we not, do, it's but it's not cold damage. Oh, you make it, yeah. It's chill touch, it's necrotic spell. Not a, yeah, yeah. You get in the bin, get in the bin. <laughs> I'm way uh, better I'm than any no healing until the start of your next turn. As the hand grips, lifts, and chokes you out and drops you to the ground. You all. You I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Can you throw a potion in someone's mouth? Yeah, you can. You can? Okay. Sick. okay. Well, you've got to be no, there. You've got to. Okay. How far oh, away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I too far? Yeah, you'd have to be next to me. That, that would be some metagame bullshit. Um, but you anyway, know yeah, I'm. D22. It's your turn. I, uh, Sarek is there, right? Sarek is there standing over, having just choked Myla out. Out of um, pure anger at seeing the wonderful Myla and me choked out, he's going to um, do slick and socks and spurt his oil over the, over all of the people. These ones here in the front whole, of you? No, no, the entire group there where Myla, where Myla is. Where, okay. where, where that man is, Sarek is, yeah. yeah. Cool, so you, do you stand over Myla and slick in the socks? Um, yes. Socks. Okay, cool. You yeah. cast grease, scented, this entire area, dripping down a little bit, is suddenly, including Milo, is now all covered in grease as you stand and face Sarah K. Fury face to face. That's an action, you still have, maybe a f- You only have a bonus action left, no more movement. That's my bonus, so am I able to use a, am I able to use a healing potion? You can use it on yourself, not on me. Only yourself, not, it's, an, it's a full action to use it on someone else. And also, the spell okay. that was just cast is holding Milo to the ground. Ooh. You wouldn't be able to put a potion in her mouth at this point. Okay, and then what I'm going to do now then is um, Eldritch Cannon Blast Sarek out of pure rage. Absolutely, make an attack roll for me, yes, please. Sir. Yes, sir. That's what Milo would have wanted. <laughs> Pain and violence. Oh, 16. 16? 16 hits. Yeah. Okay, you, you walk Good up clunking. Oh, what is this? What is this? <laughs> Little Tin Man. <laughs> I am a tin man. Okay. All right, I need, my, I need my eight. Here I am. Here is my cannon. Here is my fountain. Mm, five. Five damage? Yeah. Damage is damage, my man. Poopy. Uh, damage is cool. damage, my man. Milo. Poopy, poopy. I don't like the death dice. Fuck, I f- always forget we don't roll these. Cool. Uh, right. Pack number four. Matt's been rolling like shit as well. Oh, shit! <laughs> Matt, will you tell us at the uh, end what you rolled on death saves? Uh, I'm just so let's curious. Let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, they end up scrambling for the crystal, seeing both Mother and Lexi gunning for it. Can I take your one of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Cool. Give it to you. Uh, Alexi, top of initiative. You're up. Uh, bonus action, drink the potion. I don't have Cool, drink I need, away. I, I need to drink ah. before I'm gonna die. Blood, blood. That's terrible. Uh, three, six, eight, four, twelve, twenty-two. Uh, right. Alexi has just seen Sarek attack Myla, right? Yep. 
Yeah. Uh, to which he is just gonna look over at Sarko. Hey, prick! <laughs> <laughs> Alexi knows that one. So just, just to paint the image for a second, he's yeah. literally like lifted Myler and like slammed her to the ground with a chill touch. Yeah. Um, you're both like scrambling, trying to blow up this crystal. D22 now standing, the bravest you've seen him, and you're calling him a prick over all the noise, the screaming, the shouting, and the clanging. That's damn right. I'm calling him a prick, and then I'm hitting the chandelier. Sarah K. Fury looks across <laughs> to see you make an attack roll. What? Oh, come on. I know what you are. Oh. Uh, that is a 22! 22! 22. Apologies to our sound people for the shouts. <laughs> Maybe we should be the dirty 22s, like, fucking hell, it comes off enough. Uh, 5 plus 11, 12 points of damage. 12 points of damage. As oh, you no. look, you stab it through. It's starting to spark, and now large arcs are starting coming to come off. I need you both to make dexterity saving throws, please. As Me? Both of you, because you're Me? both right next to it. Me? Nope. Oh. Nope. Cool. This one, nice. this one, and oh, and his mate, both fail and both get hit by lightning, and suddenly their souls are, and suddenly they shrivel up and drop to the floor. Ten. Ten. Ten passes. No, twenty-four. Oh, twenty-four is fine. <laughs> <clears throat> Natural twenty. But you look, their arms. Looking at it, their arms aren't just holding the weapons; they are fused into their skin. One having an open palm out and the the handle of the sword. Actually, almost like it's been stitched in, and all their life force, all their energy is sort of being sucked into as it lies there, smoking this purple haze. Cool. Uh, as a lair action. Sorry, I've eaten loads of grapes. You have. You've eaten all my grapes. Take three quarters of them. Sorry. We have more grapes. Guys. We have Sorry. more grapes. We have more grapes, Ash. Don't worry. Do you want me to, to, to eat over some grapes? Yes, yeah. I'm nervously eating grapes. You don't get any grapes. You just ate all our ashes. We eat our grapes. Also, I've just realized Max literally stole them from the magic sword and they're like bonding to the. He's going to land right in front of you two. Is he slowed yeah, down by the snickering by any chance? He's, it's a spell, so no, he's not. Sorry, okay, mate. He can, just, he can just do that. Uh, cool. D22 is furious. Pack number one. Join the club. <laughs> I've made your dead body all slippery. So you have. Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what, we can set her on fire with ease? The crowd is starting to run towards you as everything's arcing and sparking their way. Uh, you have three minions surrounding you at this point who are going to make an attack roll. Can I get your health, please? 19. 19. Cool. Uh, that is going to be an 18 to hit. Hit. You take 15 points of damage. Ouch. It is your turn. Sarah K. Fury stands in front of you, minions around you, your friends are dying. What would you like to do? I, I don't really see a way out of here, so I just... Uh, Mayway kind of begins to angrily cry and just grits her teeth and goes, ah! and smashes down on the chandelier again. Make an attack roll. Um, 15. 15 hits. Uh, 10 points of damage. Hmm. Okay. Looking at Cape Fury, realizing the mistake he's made, toying with you as long as he has, you don't break eye contact as your flail stabs in and finally finding the heart of the crystal and it starts to fall apart and shatter and a bit of energy as it collapses around your sword suddenly comes in Fuck. right Fuck. several things are about to happen right I'm now sorry. Sorry. first yeah. of all i need dexterity saves from both you and alexi uh 15s please fine roll the 15. good uh, oh, I don't think I make it though. I don't think I make it though. I rolled 10. 10 roll total. 10. That's a no, fight. I didn't roll. I 10 total. 10 total? We good. I will carry you out of here. No, fuck it. Kill Sarah K. Fury and get that cape. Fuck my life. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, you take five points <laughs> of damage. You take 10. You're unconscious. You're unconscious. I uh, get, as I hit, I get blown <laughs> backwards into the ring and my neck just goes... Okay, great. Medically, I love it. You get blown back and land up top. 
Um, Alexi, you managed to hold yourself. Yeah. But looking around, you now sort of start to see all the other weapons, everything has holes, suddenly start to hold. And it's like, boom, 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 boom. All the weapons exploding, arms, body parts, as like these massive explosions Kingsman. happen and take place. Who is holding the bag of holding? Alexi. Alexi. Um, Alexi, make another dexterity save for me, please. Because you've got the Rylanthium. I also have Rylanthium. Natural one. Natural oh, one. God. Oh, for fuck's sake. You suddenly feel this vibration in the bag of holding. I told you I should have a bag of holding, Alexi. And suddenly a huge <laughs> explosion happens as the bag is ripped out from the inside, boom, and the contents are spilled everywhere, all over the back. Uh, you take an additional four points of damage um, as a small explosion. Most of it contained within, within the um, extra dimensional space inside, but it explodes all out the back. Um, suddenly, all these other men, these women, these fighters, suddenly are like, Clawing at their arms, really, and what what they've done, what's happened. Sarah K. Fury in an absolute mess. No, no, you fucking elves! <laughs> um, as you look, as a staff starts to crack and crumble, and it too explodes. He's going to make a dexterity saving throw. He fails. Yeah, he does. Yeah, you're all going for tonight. I love it. The suck a dick, Fury. <laughs> the staff explodes, <laughs> and with it, Ooh, that's good. his Thank hand you. erupts with the staff as it shatters into a thousand pieces. This is all happening in the same second, in the same sort of instant. Now, you're unconscious. Uh-huh. So you're automatically going to fail this constitution saving throw. Oh, why is there a constitution saving throw? Um, but D22, you would see this. You see a small explosion happening oh. in the ring. Yep. You fail, one death save. Cool. I'll colour that shit in. We're still in initiative order, but for all intents and purposes, all the minions are gone. It's now Sarek's turn. Sarek seeing this, you fucking elves. Pay. You'll pay. He steps back. No, uh, no. You do have an attack of opportunity if you I like. I take it. 100%. Oh, I need to roll damage you and I on him as well, sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Cut that uh, what I want to do, if possible, can I? Well, I'll try and hit first. <laughs> then, can I aim the attack at all? Can you aim the attack? At yeah. All? No, it's just a straight hit. No, no, no I mean, um, I'll, I'll roll the. Oh, hit like, like, like yeah, for narrative. Yeah, I want to aim a certain. Oh yeah, sure, of course, of course, of course, of course, of <laughs> course. Uh, that is a seventeen. Seventeen. <laughs> Fuck you! He's going to cast shield to block. block God the hit damn. As he holds it, and he continues to sort of back up and away. This isn't over. And he cast Dimension Door. Ah! And teleports out. How many times has that happened to us now? <sighs> Transition wasn't quite there, but that's all right. Um, D22. You look. And you and Alexi both listen. Both the snuffs are unconscious. Mist starts to evaporate from each of the fallen bodies and the spot where Sarek fell. And a small one from where Mayway is currently lying. And at first it's calm and peaceful. And then you start to hear tens, hundreds of tiny screams. <laughs> <coughs> a mist sort of gathers over the top. And as you look out, this mist becomes form, translucent, a light blue, and you recognize what looks like similar to an individual you met in a forest not a couple of weeks ago. Ghostly and pale, men, women, children, long ears, all looking sad and forlorn, starting to float away, waiting for a moment, and almost all of a sudden, all at once, all hooked from the bellies, lifted into the air and lifted through the ceiling carols. Help me! One, two, all of them being carried up, lifted, spirited away very, very quickly. The screaming is gone just as just as, as disappears just as quickly as it arrived. And it is deathly silent, apart from the few coughs and shouts from those that survived their injuries. Sarah K. Fury is gone. And to your knowledge, both of your friends currently lay dying. What would you like to do? Um, we are out of initiative. You are both free to move as you would like. Go, 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 go get to my light. I'll, I'll look at. It. I'll look after Mayway. How do, how do we revive her? Do you, can you revive do, her? Uh, no, I'm just going to try and stop the bleeding. What should I do? Uh, try and stop the bleeding. Okay. Just pressing wooden uh, stumps against it. Yeah, I'm gonna 
dart over to Mayway and try and sort of stem the bleeding anyway. Make a medicine check. Shit. Sorry, Mayway or Mylar? Mayway, Mayway, because D20 is closest to Mylar. Okay. Uh, 14. 14. You come in. You look like Mayway wasn't hurt as much as you expected. You stabilize, but looking, you notice Mayway is now missing her right ear. Here's the earring, her Rolentium earring exploded in a reaction. I get some of my bandages, spare bandages, and just wrap them around. Cool. I'm going to roll one more death save for Myla. Okay. D22, what are you doing? Yeah, using my, um, maybe some, I've got a pile of empty sacks in my inventory with a little bit of rope. I'm just, um, you, you were strangled, weren't you? That's not going to help. You're strangled. Um, so if you if you want to stabilize, what I what I need first is a medicine check. I was trying to find a way of not using my medicine check because I don't have any advantage on that. Neither do I. So <laughs> twelve. Twelve. Mm. Do you straight, have no, no zero. <clears throat> straight zero. Twelve passes. Ooh. You are on two pass and two fail. You stabilize Myla, and coughing and sputtering. Still very, very hurt, you regain consciousness. You both do. The floor is yours. Are you are you with me now? Are you back? Hang on, I've got to mark my leg. It's just D22 is just kind of like pressing awkwardly at your throat. It's not, it's not sure if he's doing anything so, good or bad. How many hit points do we have? Uh, you are both on one. And both take a level of exhaustion, please. One uh, HP. Uh, we 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 we're, we're going to get them uh, back to uh, the, your 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 friend, the um the the the, the blacksmith who was going to. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes. We can. Well, do, we, do we need to carry them, or were they oh, really strong enough to walk? Uh, Myla goes. <coughs> who else is hurt? Everyone's is else hurt? hurt. Everyone's hurt. Mayway, you can't hear much. You're hearing a lot of ringing in your head and your ear, and things are very hazy. It's all right. <sighs> It echoes and pounds in your head. Uh, it's all right. You're 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 you're, sa- you're safe. It's all right. I okay. I can hear you. Um, Myla I, I, is gonna cast. Did you kill him? Ah! Uh, Myla's gonna cast healing spirit. Mm-hmm. Um. So basically, a little celestial Cyril appears. <laughs> Wonderful. Um. So she's gonna heal. Like first of all, that's she's gonna apply that to herself. So I get one d six, two phenomenal stuff, Um, and then I will run it over to Mayway. Mayway's like. Are you thirty feet away from me? Oh, I'll say for like we're out of initiative. Like it's fine. Yeah, right over to you. You get six. Cool. (laughs) The bleeding stops, but. Can I hear better now? The ringing stopped. The ringing is still going in your head. Well. Mayway has like dragged herself up and is kind of wildly looking around, not, not really seeing it, looking for the big fuzzy lump that is Zarek Cave here. You don't see him. Um, I'm gonna bring my, my squirrel back to me, please. Yep. Did you roll another one? Oh dear. Squirrel only likes to You're like others. having just been back from the brink, you're very shaken at the moment and things aren't quiet. Um, and I get, uh, so that's three. I get at least two more. Plus one more. Um, wait, my modifier and my spell attack mm-hmm. is that is my spell attack my spell modifier? Uh, no, your modifier so is just, just your yeah, yeah it's just fine. fine. So yeah. okay, so I get three more squirrels. How are you two doing? Uh, I'm on thirteen, so I'm probably f- yeah, I'll fine. last until. Oh, yeah. You clearly need I'll the help. I'm just gonna hug the squirrel. Maybe the people that are on single digit health. Maybe the person who's on four. Did you roll another one? It's a two. two. Okay, pick a different it's dice. Better. <laughs> it's doubly as well as last time. You have to do twenty-two dice. Oh yes, go on then. Three. I mean, that so is pretty. I'm obviously going back to every time. Everything. I'm still not out of single digits. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm at nine. Um, are you at seven? You can have the last squirrel. Do you want it? I'll roll on this. Yeah, you oh, get nice. five. You've had a six and a five. <sighs> in the Sarah. moments in the wake of the fight, 
a lot of you are in shock, a lot of you are not realising the consequences of what might have just happened. You take a moment to lick your wounds, very conscious that there's still a very active town around you. We're going to take a break. Cool. Greetings, peasants. Alexi Karstav here. I uh, hope you're enjoying watching me in the show. I'm doing a fantastic time this week. No, uh, we wanted to thank the people who all make the show so great. Oh, God's sake. Uh, yes, 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 there is uh, there is Erin Gray, who did a truly beautiful rendition of My Lovely Face. And everyone else. Uh, and and them. Uh, there is Michael G Gelf Gelfi. I do this every time. Gelfi. Gelfi, yes. He does the uh, the very heroic music that you see me being very handsome in. Finally, uh, who else do we have? We've got... There's Sticky Fingers, who does all the amazing maps that we get to fight on, or sometimes not fight on and immediately leave. Um, there's Loki Fellows, who also does amazing episode art, and she does all the show animations, which is, like, super, super talented. We also have that, uh, the, the social media sorceress, uh, Tanya Garamani. What is it with people and titles, honestly? It's so gauche. And uh, we also have Jeffa and Nate doing their uh, technical wizardry behind the scenes. There are links for absolutely everyone in the description. So you should go check them out because they're all awesome and really so much more talented than we are. Uh, I mean, than you. And welcome back. Hello. Um, before we get into our recap and our slightly heavy session, uh, we have a little giveaway. We've been giving away some dice across our social media to new joiners and old. So I'm going to roll a lovely little dice uh, and do some little looking on my chart. And uh, bear with me one moment. So is everyone, everyone aligned against a certain number, are they? Wait. Before you uh, yeah. So basically, if you like followed or subscribed or like retweeted or liked, I just add you to a chart. Nice. So I'm going to roll a little cheeky D100. Oh. We're at 100, but you know, it's still, it's still nice. Uh, that is going to be a 15. I think that was me. <laughs> the thing is, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that so, was me. Uh, yeah. I think it was me, actually. You would. It was actually, it wasn't actually there. Um, in actuality, it was Marshall Moot Boop or Marshall Mowbray on, on Twitter. So, hey! congratulations. Well done. Hey, uh, congratulations. We'll drop you a DM and we'll send you these lovely. Unrolled, untouched, and it's a good thing I haven't rolled. I've been rolling like crap uh, lately. These Maybe I could dice. roll them. Oh, really cool. yeah, I mean, if you want them rolled, let us know. We'll do that. But yeah, we'll be in touch. Well done. And thank you all for checking us out. I uh, hope you're enjoying the show. And with that being said, let's get into something a little bit more serious. Before the break, our party <laughs> narrowly survived their encounter with Sarah Cave Fury. Both Mayway and Myla took some heavy hits and both narrowly escaped death. Myla, no. clean. Mayway emerged as well, but now missing her right ear. After destroying the crystal in the middle of the tavern that Sarek had been using to focus its energy exploded, and all Rylinthium items and weapons, including the bag of holding, exploded due to the Rylinthium inside. Mayweer had an earring which exploded, taking her ear with it. So, as you currently lick your wounds, and very aware you're still in an active town where a large explosion had taken place, mm -hmm. your items scattered across the floor, what happens next? D22 scooters off immediately, starts trying to run around the floor, trying to pick up what we've got, if I can mm -hmm. investigate the... Uh... Cool, uh, investigation checks from all of you, please. <clears throat> Natural 20. Okay, very good. Jesus, good man. Uh, we're at disadvantage, aren't we? We've got a... uh, exhaustion, you're at disadvantage, yes. Oh, that was good. Oh, two natural 20s! What? Nice. No. Yeah. Two Fox. natural 20s. Give me those dice for Marshall. I'll give him a roll. <laughs> uh, guy, never 13. Happened. 13? 
Two. Cool. I'm going to say, with three natural 20s on the side of the table, despite the explosion, the bag managed to contain enough that it's not spilt ever to high heaven. So, uh, you have time, based on the list that Alexi's been keeping, to see what you can carry, but time is very quickly going to start running out. Okay, cool. We've got a fine longsword. Alexis is going to put that on his back. A Mastercrafter's mandolin. That's got a strap. It can go on someone's shoulder. Take that. Okay, great. Uh, tw- 21 iron ingots. They're just gone. 10k glass marbles. Fuck them. Shrine to Asmodeus. <laughs> well, shit. Poisoner's kit. Throwing it in the pack. We'll use it for science club. Two tenths. <laughs> eh. Pack oh, salt. Packed salted meat. Eh. Uh-huh. Sacks of grain. Nope. Fresh water, open it, have a fucking drink if you want. <laughs> Tapestry. Eh. <laughs> um, cask of pickled fish. Nope. Cask of wax. Nope. Two cauldrons. No. Nope. Box of fancy hats. There you so are. <laughs> Box of arrowheads. You might use something. Just hold uh, it. Small magnet. There you go. <laughs> Thanks to it. <laughs> Four empty signet rings. Everyone gets one. <laughs> Cask of olive oil. Eh. Pouch of tobacco. You look like a smoker. <laughs> it's the moustache. Uh, unidentified the ring. Well, we'll just put that on there. Keep that for later. Oh, you put it on. <laughs> Ever, oh, yeah, cool. Carry on, carry on. Ever burning torch. Yeah. Stuff that in the pack, yep. I should be fair, we can all see in the dark. Uh, Alexi's oh, got him. the um, Bloodthirsty Dagger. We've also got the Cobalt one. Raise your hands. Bring all the daggers. Yep, yeah, well, okay. Whoever's just getting what. Yeah, just... Um, potions, he's going to stuff in his and Myla's pack. So there's the orange smoky one, the cloudy green one, the yellow and pink one, the red skull shaped one that makes you angry, and uh, the one where you zigged in front of Zagged, instead of Zagged. And Mayway gets all the crystals. What crystals? Uh, uh, aquamarine crystal, blue quartz Oh, the gems, crystal. yes, yeah. yeah. That's, that's Not okay. the diamonds, given to me. You have the tiny and the small diamond. Thank you. And um, I'd say your hands are getting very full at this point. Any cash? There's Nata's, a shitload of Nata's, cash. Not as gem, please. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, with the, there's now a shitload of money. D22 opens his chest. Can we? F- how I much gold exactly can we fit how- inside of D22's yeah. chest? That's a good question. And will he I'm just gonna consume pause this for it somehow? God, he's going to be like a slot machine. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> like, ch- ding, 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 <laughs> not, not loads. Like, you're, you're quite lithe. You know, you're not a bank vault. And mm-hmm. you're full of, you know, gears. And you're, you're full of, you're full of intricate, like, we, we repaired you, right? You're full of intricate things. You are carrying stuff. So not, not heaps. Like, how much gold, how much gold is there in total? Uh, 763. 763. In, in what denominations do we know? 763 gold pieces, 1,886 silver pieces. Okay. 700 gold coins is... It's a lot of gold coins. If you've got like a little bag or like... Yeah, I was going to say, is there a bag anywhere? I was going to say, yeah, can we find um, any sort of here. like satchels or stuff around you here? You can, but it's going to take time. Going to do I that. I rolled two natural twenties. Yeah, you Alexi's found it. And has been doing all of yeah. that stuff. Yeah. Can, yeah. You make, can, you, can you milk go down to, to make so? Not in the time even. you have. Uh, yeah, I'm grabbing whatever <laughs> bags I can and yeah. Or if there's like well, you can if you want, but if there's like a barrel oh, yeah, that can roll that's empty. There's a barrel of olive oil. Empty it. Put the coins in. I empty the cask of water. Yep. Yeah. Stuff all the coins in that. Seal it. Okay. Uh, who's carrying that? It's gonna be very heavy. Uh, and we're gonna roll it. It's a barrel. Okay. Is there anything else you need I've to got, get? I've got I've, I've got a pile of empty sacks. Can I fill one of the sacks with gold? Hey. You could you could put something in the sack as well. Some I will say you're very much sacks. at the cap of what you guys can carry. I'm gonna need you're gonna be at half movement, and I'm gonna need strength checks just to make sure you guys can carry this as a group. That's fine. We just need to make it back to the blacksmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll uh, all take a sack yeah, full of I gold. Yeah, we've, we've got what we can. We've left what we've not. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So uh, the iron ingots are staying. The glass marbles are staying. The shrine is staying. The tents are staying. I gave all the iron and got to the. Then they were already guy, gone. The yeah, they're gone then. Thing. Yeah, that's fine. Castle. Last game. I can't believe I rolled two natural twenties. Have you done that before? Have you done that before? Gone. You've got the box. I rolled two, na- I rolled two natural ones. You're, you're a great bag holding man, I must say, because that that is a very precise list. That you are, uh, Thank you. The box of arrowheads is actually have. pointless. We're leaving it. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you can out if you want, but the small D22 wants yeah, everything, doesn't it? small oil, fuck that. The pouch of tobacco, I did give you that because you're a smoker. I can D22 have a little pipe, please? Yes. Brilliant. Done. Uh, you're going to make it yourself, but you can do that, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, okay, cool. 
then we've, we've come out of this okay. Cool. Your homunculus can carry something as well if you want it to. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. if you can actually... Yeah, the fancy, hat, the fancy hat's on top. Does it flip out with little legs on the bottom and you just like stuff? Just stops. a little tiny pylon sticks out with the hat sitting on top and then below he can take one of the bags of silver or gold perhaps just to carry That's it. too heavy we for him to carry. We start getting the shit out. Can you... Can okay. Go? Towards the back. I don't... I'm annoyed that I rolled in two natural 20s because Mayway is so not in a headspace for this right now. She can't hear anything and she's just been It's annoyed. almost like, despite not still like not being able to, like you haven't lost your hearing yet, but yeah. you're, despite your head ringing, but your eyes managed to focus and you can scan and quickly see and identify like adrenaline still pumping through having just come back. Definitely cool. not like very present at I, all though. I will say as you're just sort of starting to finalize, it's not guards, but a crowd is starting to gather at what is quite a popular establishment after a loud explosion. People peering in and peeking in. How are we going about it? Yeah, we are. Um, a few people are rushing and deciding to check the bodies, and like, there's a couple of like women and like children, and, like family members, like poking. Dad, you're just getting the shit Dad. out of that. Yeah, go out, go. The out, opposite go out. way that they're going. So you want to come out the back instead? Yeah, yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. You come out. It's a main road. There are a few horses and carriages and carts kicking about. Um, you are loaded up with stuff. You're moving quite slowly. Two of the snelps are very exhausted. Milo becomes a, a horse. Great. Cool. Great, you can you can carry a lot more in in, in that case. Uh, Lex is going to use bits of rope to kind of like uh, lash things onto Myla. Great, cool. Uh, do you know who still looks like Aiden? Yes, mm-hmm. you do. <coughs> you still do at this point. Yeah, perfect. Cool. Uh, Mayway's just kind of kicking the barrel forward and mm-hmm. waiting for it to look a lot more normal. Then, now we're <laughs> to kick it, a couple of but like dead eyes. Room. Cool. There's a lot of whispers and like and like just pss, pss, and like as you guys walk down the street. Uh, okay, cool. You're walking down, people are sort of giving you a very wide berth, having been the group that somehow Sarah K. Fury ran away from. People saw him run into the street before vanishing into thin air. And then people thought, no, I saw him riding on a horse in another direction. You overhear different, you don't, you guys overhear mm-hmm. different conversations happening about Sarah K. Fury escape. Like, there's all these people dead. This, this weird snow elf sort of came through. What what do you think's going on? Is it loud? I don't know. Like, is, is, the, is that it? Is the pub dead? What about the mines? I, I don't know. Like, what does this mean for that? I don't know. Like, people are like, there's a bit of panic sort of in the streets, but there doesn't really seem to be much in the way of guards or attention. Anyone in sort of like, anyone that looks official is running towards the pub, clearly towards the carnage sort of just taken place. Reports of people losing limbs and arms and a few screams. People talking about ghosts floating up to the sky. Something about like white elves, but beyond that, there's not really much. Myla is like, as horse, making beeline to yep. uh, the blacksmiths. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, Aiden's holding the front console. Uh, Alexi is at the back, just kind of keeping Mayway focused and walking. Cool. People, people, people are watching you, but no one's stopping you. People are looking on. You get to the alleyway. Uh, no one's harassing you. You, you come and you get through. Uh, and towards me, there's nowhere to be seen. The forge is dead. It's very quiet. Not a soul. Everyone now seems to be towards the last pack. Um, uh, the- as has house sort of sits, the lights are off. Um, Milo's not a horse anymore because she can't get in otherwise. Um, let's just wait in here. <laughs> did, 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 did you see the, the, the room that you, you, you t- uh, managed to get? <clears throat> mm, he, he never showed us to the room exactly, but I'm sure we could find it. Well, then we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll go inside. Um, right, um, I try the door. Uh, it's locked. Can I pick the lock? You can. Perfect. Slight of hand? Uh, yes, now, are you using your... Tools, yes, please. There's the other tool you got as well, if you remember, back when you guys were in the painted maze. So you got oh, your regular yes. one, you've got the one that gives you a plus three. Let's use that one, please. Okay. This, this has not been well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> He's starting to get it. <laughs> starting to get the fear. Oh, natural 20. Oh. Plus, plus five. Plus five. Plus three. Plus like 28. <laughs> you, you come in and just, just like... <laughs> yeah, but it's, it is. It's like you just sort of like flick it, you tap it, and it just. <clears throat> Wish I hadn't used the plus three one now, to be honest. It's fine. It's, still, it's, it's not a one time use. You've still got it. Oh, I've still got it. Yeah, okay, you've still, you still got it. Great. The door opens. Um, Bingo. More, uh, cool. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to mosey on in, but I don't, know, I don't know, remember his name. Myla. What was his name? Can Myla Talk stop me. you just before you go I in? I don't. I wasn't there. <laughs> Can Myla stop you just before you go in? Mm-hmm. Uh, Myla's just going like, uh, uh, just check for alarms or anything. Uh, uh, right, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Um, Alex is going to look for any sort of like tripwire or alarm system. Sure, make an investigation check. <laughs> uh, Mayway's going to put her hand on uh, D22's arm and just say, uh, 
His name Eleven. was taught me. Oh. You, you have, you have taught a quick me. sort of look around. It doesn't appear to be any sort of traps or tripwires upon like a cursory glance. Okay. Um, you do sort of smell like there's still like a hint of cooked dinner, a bit of warmth still coming from the fire. Like someone was home recently. If you guys weren't gone that long, it's maybe been about not quite an hour since you've gone. You've got about 10 minutes left in your Aiden, by the way. Okay. Um, what did you say his name was? Taught me. <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Please don't be alarmed to just talk me, mate. Are you around at all? No answer. Talk me, head through, head a bit further through. Yeah, sure, you walk in. <laughs> Door was <You> open. <laughs> <laughs> um, I swear it was like that when I found it. <laughs> first, first door I get to. Talk, talk me, mate, don't, please don't be alarmed. I'm just, just, uh... no. Still, still no answer, but looking around, you see leftover crockery, half-eaten meals. Um, still with your investigation check. Like, like those people pretty always seem to have people left <coughs> in a pretty big hurry. Okay. Um, can I get through the door that I've just... Uh, I've, 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 I've approached new doors. What am I looking at? Right uh, now? At the moment, you've walked in. There's a small set of stairs on the left going going up. Mm-hmm. Um, you're in sort of like the lounge living area at the moment where mm-hmm. there's like a fire that's being extinguished and you go back. It's more like a kitchen sort of like seating area, which... Opens opens out into a small courtyard in the back, which is also quite dark, lit slightly by the moonlight, but it's quite small on the inside. It's quite a humble home. I'm gonna creak up, creak up the stairs, please. Sure. But I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna do a fake whistling sound as I do it. So at least um, my my in real life, my roommate, my housemate does that. It's very kind. He whistles when he arrives to let me know he's not a burglar. So if I'm gonna do a nice friendly, <laughs> make Excuse me. Perfo- go do a performance check for me, please. Okay. Eleven. So you walk upstairs. What are the other three? What are you three doing? Staring <clears throat> into space. Alexia is going to make sure that Mayway gets in and sort of like sits down and then do the same with Myla and then he's going to try and lug everything inside, shut the door and make it so look... So you guys are still inside downstairs? Yeah. D22 I, goes upstairs. Yeah, I okay. want to make it look cool. like as normal as possible from the outside. D22. As you're walking up the stairs and you turn around... Oh, another bad roll. Change dice for that one and everything. Um, as you're sort of heading up and you see an opening, a door slightly ajar, you hear the floorboards creak behind you and turn and see Tortmere standing there with a large club raised above his head. Oh, talk me, relax, mate. Sorry. You didn't. What are you? Sorry, mate. Really, really bad. I, I didn't. I, I didn't what take the, the key. What the fuck are you doing? I didn't take the key for me before when I said we'd stay here and we're not going to get some food and there's a big commotion in town. And yes, what are you back. doing? You're... Really, really sorry, mate. Really sorry. Were you, were you asleep? No, my, my family has had to flee. Why? 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 Why are you fleeing? Oh, uh, uh, fucking Sarah Kef Fury is attacked. This so thing oh, is my rival family. I've, there's a run for their life. Was it? Ron's oh. blues were knocking here. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, no, I thought I heard something about that, but we, as I say, we went to get some dinner and came out. Really, sorry, the door was off this latch as well when we came down. I don't know if, some, if someone had left it open. Deception check. Deception check. <laughs> Disadvantage. He, he, so... Disadvantage. Disadvantage? Yeah. You, 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 don't you take disadvantage on your deception checks always? But he's not doing it as D22. Oh. Okay, first of all, I want a performance check. Well, it's a five, so I think I'm fucked anyway. Oh, you're fucked anyway. <laughs> all right, never mind then. <laughs> Let's be honest, if it is a disadvantage... Yeah, let, let me, let me gauge for the deception stuff. <laughs> you knocked my door off. So wait, what, what, what were you doing really? You have one chance or I'm going to batter you down right now. All right, I will be honest, right? I heard the disruption in town. I got, I shit myself a little bit. I ran, <laughs> tried to get through the door, knocked it clean off his hinges. I will give you... 15 gold right here, Are right now. Are you carrying now, the gold? To, yes. yes. Yeah, you was. Um, just, just to make things sweet, just so you can replace the door. As I say, I was a bit embarrassed and I walked through, burst it off the latches. I do apologise. I'll That should be more than enough to fix the door oh, if we can fine. just get to bed. You are not after my family? No, not at all, mate. We've got no problem with your family. So just, just want a, a place to kit for the evening. You see him reaching down into his boot just a little bit. How do I trust you? Uh, you can you, you, you can trust me, mate. You, you, you can trust me completely. Um, my wife, my daughters, they have run away. I am not very happy about this. You okay. show up here with your snouts, you're causing trouble. Large explosions, screaming ghosts in the sky. Tell you what, mate. If Give you me let one us... second why I shouldn't. He's like, he's if pulling let, out if, a... If, a... Right, if you let us stay for tonight, we'll go tomorrow and we'll go and help try and find your wife and daughters. Well, after we get a nice long race, we'll kind of try and find them for Make you. Make a persuasion check, please. It's a high DC. Charisma. 14. 14. Ooh. Pauses for a second. Who else is here? All right, there is just three of us in total. 
Four of us in total. <laughs> he doesn't put the sword away. Show me. And he pitches into himself and like starts to sort of like march you sure. yeah, downstairs with his sword pointed at your back. They're very, they're, very, they're very, very nice. Don't take up much room. Very, very nice people. If you want to come down the stairs, um, say hello. Milo has effectively like curled up by the fire. D, so D22 walks down with his hands in the air, like still in the, in the form of Aiden. Have you seen? And behind him, you see a very shaken torch mirror in a, in a robe, messy hair, very, very sort of tired, and just, just darting around and looking all over the place. I've got, I was saying to this lovely gentleman here is we can go and help. His, his family is flea, bless him. And I thought maybe we could go and help him try and look for him tomorrow once we get some kip. Um, you know, these are my, these are my friends. They're, they're, they're a lovely bunch. They're can I hear anything yet? You, you hear. Yeah. yeah. Does he have his sword out? He has the sword out pointed at D22's back at, at this point. Uh, I, s- I thought you were nice people. Hello? You come she, here? She can't hear anything. Uh, Why not? Because of the explosion. Yeah, we were standing right outside earlier on when, when the explosion went off and um, Why? hurt her ears. And I was just pointing at D22. Why? Why? My family's in danger. Yeah, his family's run away, bless him, eh? Sarah K. Fury was attacked. The big dog in town was attacked. Bronze Blues came knocking. They thought, I had something. Our families do not get along. I've taken two snow ups. I give you benefit of the doubt. Yeah, we, we, we hate Sarah K. Fury, don't we? All of us, we hate him. I, I thought his name was Asker. I'm hearing many things tonight. Yeah. I can't. Mala. Mala. I can't hear. I, can I, you help? Alexi, he, he sort of pushes you for D twenty two, like like just get over there. Alexi takes out his notebook and writes, "I will explain," and holds it in front of Mayway. I can't hear. I do not have time for this. Look, look. Um, t- What's happening? T- taught me. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry that you've had problems with the, the, the other family. We had a good life here. You have to come and cause trouble. We're happy. We're family happy. We're fine. It wasn't us the cause of trouble, just to be, just to be fair, but carry on. We, we didn't, you know. Shut it. Please lower the blade. Why? You in my house, you break in, you kick my door I, down. I, I, Give me one reason why I, I don't kick ex- you out right ex- now. Ex- I will cut well. you. <laughs> what do you want? I want you to leave. What else do you want? I want you to leave. We can leave. Let's just leave town. My family is, they're safe. I know they're safe. They've run. We have drilled this many times. Like, I had no love for Sarah Cave here, but you come and mess with the system. It did not need to be messed with. Can you give us a good way out of town without being seen? Uh, I guess if you want, probably the trade routes. There's so many in and out from the mountain now, they won't be watching the paths at this time. Okay. You head towards the mountains and hope for the best. All right, and it doesn't go through the center of town? Uh, you can go around the sides if you need to. Okay, can you point us in that direction? Uh, yes, yes, and he sort of like generally gestures and gives you like points towards the mountains. And like if you look past, there's more alleyways that go in behind his house. It will take you through the back roads of, of the city and avoid most of the foot traffic as, as more word is spreading that Sarah K. Fury has, has fled and a, essentially a massacre has happened in the middle of town. All right, everyone, let's go. They're, they're, they're looking for uh, two, two snow elves. Um, and Alexi is going to take the uh, take the helmet, uh, the brass helmet. Yeah. Where is Sally and your um, daughters? I'm going to hand this to you. Sit. I've got a cloak. Okay. Got, I've got Mayway, ma- 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this on you, okay? Yeah, sorry, uh, sorry, sorry. Um, have you noticed your ears missing yet? I'm wrapped up. I'm my head. I already bandaged. bandaged. Cool. So yeah. I just know that I can't hear, and it fucking hurts cool. here. Uh, right um, here, right here. Yeah, Alexi is going to um, take his coat, just kind of wrapped up around Mayway. Um, we, 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 we get the we, fuck out. Stay going. the fuck away from my uh, my yeah. family. I didn't, I, did realize, not, I didn't realize your family was safe already, so apologies for that suggestion. Get that was a bit the fuck so out of my house. All right, no worries, mate. Are we gonna, we gonna go to our room? No, we can't. We can't stay here. He doesn't want us to stay here. Take, 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 take the things, and we'll, we'll, we'll leave. One. Once we get a bit out of town, we find some sort of clearing where we can, we can rest for, for, for the night. Take her. 
Okay. Can you turn it off a horse again? Never mind then, we'll just, we'll. Do you have a wheelbarrow I can buy from you? <laughs> Make a persuasion check with disadvantage. Uh, seven. Seven. I am not selling you anything. Get the fuck out, I'm not going to ask again. <laughs> this doesn't very mean much to you, but I'm, we're, we're, we're actually trying to be the good people here. Let's, let's go. You leave? With the stuff, yeah. Cool. He wow. never takes his eyes off you, steps around. I kind of over my shoulders. Bye. Bye. Doesn't respond. Sorry. Just just sits defeated with his, his head in his hands. and. What? What? Wait, who's holding my arm? D20. Mm -hmm. What happened? Yeah, apparently, I, I thought we were mates, but apparently I got it wrong. It's gone off for me a bit. Um, my your mouth be, doesn't like, move because you're like, a robot, one hand right? On Alexi's shoulder and be like, so I can't fucking <laughs> hear any. I can't. That's true. He it does. It does go like that, but you wouldn't be no, able to. Lip yeah, I can't from rip it. read from you. It's like Iron Giant. Hmm. I can't hear you. Um, I, 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 I'm not uh, the most uh, prolific in terms of um, practicing physicians. I've d d d dabbled, um, but I, I think we might want to test her for concussion. <laughs> So, I'll have a look at her once once we get there, okay? Hmm. You, you step into the courtyard, it's still very quiet, but now Milford is a small town. Population of, you know, less than a thousand, mostly dwarf. Even more or less most, now. most of the populations, you know, travel, they come in and out, most of them working up towards the mountains. Um, there's not much in the way of guard or shouting or panic, but there are a few bells sort of clanging around. You do see um, in the courtyard the old forge. You do see a wheelbarrow, if you wanted to attempt to steal that. However, it? it's going to make you much more conspicuous walking through even the back alleys with the amount of stuff you've got. Right, let's just go. Yeah, we just go. Okay. Galaxy okay, feels a very, very distinctly disturbing human sense of guilt mm -hmm. with this whole situation. You just not enjoy the emotion. Could we not go back and kill him? No. Why not? Because we're trying not to kill people. Well, yes, so, but I it's only it, one person to kill. It, I and think it would probably kill me and Maywe. Why? Let's just go. Well, we, y you and I have to be the responsible ones now <coughs> and get people out of here, so no killing. I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> but you could eat as well, bonus. <sighs> yes, and I'm very hungry, but that's not the point. Win-win. We, no, no, we just, please just do as I ask. Please. Okay. Look, look after Mayway. Go on, bring her along. <laughs> Mayway looks like quite twitchy and frightened because she's like just not got her bearings around her. She can't. Oh yeah, your perception's been massively thrown off. Yeah. Um, Myla's gonna um, send Cyril back to sit on your shoulder. Cyril nuzzles you a little bit. Mm. Uh, Alexi's just gonna support Myla as they walk. So you're taking the back roads around the back. Yeah. Okay, uh, I need group style checks, please. Disadvantage with the snobs. Mm. Oh, but these babies just rolled two natural twenties. Natural oh. one. Why did you take it out of the jail? You're right. It's immediately gone back in. It's a failure. <laughs> My <laughs> God, you are good. Fire. Fucking good. 18 out of 19. Okay, that's a pass. 21. It's a pass. 12. It's a pass. So despite the natural so, one from Alexi yeah, trying to leave. Disadvantage 22. <laughs> You creep through the back, slowly and steadily, um, weighed down with exhaustion and the equipment you're still trying to carry. Sorry. Um, you do hear the occasional shout and the occasional panic, and things starting to calm now as rumors start to turn into fact. Oh, Sarah K. Fury escaped and ran. Um, you do hear the occasional shouts for, did anyone see the snow elves? Did anyone see where they went? It appears you are being looked for at this point. Um, um, I've got my cloak up. Yep. With me. And may always got the copper helmet. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Funny fucking idea was happening. Um, you do also hear the name Caster being thrown out a little bit as well in reference to the wanted poster you guys found earlier. Lovely. You make your way about halfway through the town before not intersecting the main road. It's, it's a small town, mostly creeping through back roads and the equivalent of backyards. Um, but the, for, mo for the most part, being unharassed as you go. As you get towards sort of the top corner of the city, you do see more abandoned buildings, whether residential or what would have been shops or merchants. You do see a tower sort of sitting in the corner as well by a mostly disused gate. 
with a small light flickering at the top. You can keep going, pushing, trying to leave, or you can explore a little bit more of the city if you would like. Let's go. Let's get out. I, I'm concerned about the light up there. Can I see if it's, like, have a look at the light and see if it looks like a sort of manned tower or Yeah, anything? make a perception check. Uh, Eleven. Eleven. Uh, it's it's hard to make out, even with dark vision. Um, I think I can guidance myself. Yeah, go on. Boof. <laughs> after, I think I can do it. I'm, I'm allowing. Or after, it. yeah, making the ability check. So yeah, I was gonna be like, it's cool, lovely. So that was eleven. So it's now fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. Yeah, with the fourteen, um, you do see some large shapes moving about inside, and quite a large archway in the front. So looking at the door, it doesn't look like it's made to accommodate something much bigger than a standard human. Sorry, um, it does look like or doesn't look does. like? It does. It's a large door. Could be the giants. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But if we go in there, I'm definitely yeah. know what's happening. Yeah, um, there's something in there. There's something moving around. <coughs> oh, all right, well, let's just try and move as quickly as we can and um, draw as little attention as possible. Yep, let's go out right. into the mountains. Oh. Yes, and then we'll... Find a place to sit, I, I promise. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yes. All right. Um, are you, are you two okay? Are you okay? Yes. Great. All right. Thank What's so happening cool. now? I just point out towards the gate. <laughs> she just goes for it. Yeah, we're going to try and get out, preferably into some sort of, like, oh, you, overgrown... Right? Foresty area. Okay, cool. Uh, you're in much rockier terrain at the moment. There isn't much in the way of trees, but I'm going to need a gr- another group stealth check from everyone just to see if you leave the city without arousing any attention. Is there are still a few figures around? Oh Jesus, David. Uh, ten. Come on, okay. ladies. We do so good. Nine. Okay. Ah, <laughs> wow. Two thirteens. Okay. 22. Um. A dirty twenty-two. Yeah. Nice drink. Uh, I get a plus six, so if, if 13 didn't pass. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, and if it's helpful, I am wearing nature's mantle. It's not. I think it just lets you hide as a bonus action. So it's not a bonus to stuff. Yeah, but yeah. it helps me blend with the terrain surrounding me. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Lord of the Rings, lie down. <laughs> so you make your way out the gate, and for the most part, believing you haven't been spotted. This this way is quieter. It feels like this is less more less more less less about goods coming in and out, um, and more of a general pathway uh, for those heading west or north towards up the top. Uh, but you step out, you see the mountains in front, on what is at the, this time of night a very unused path, and your have slipped out at this stage, despite the yells and the clangs behind you as people are frantically looking for the group that defaced, dethroned Sarah Cave Fury in not an hour. A go. What happens next? I want to have a look around for any sort of uh, natural kind of crevices. There's a lot of rocks and everything. There's right? a lot of rocks. I mean, like, yeah. 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 So some, uh, like, almost natural, naturally forming caves, something like that. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, you you need to walk out a little bit to, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Let's keep walking. Uh, okay. Yeah. You, you take you take about an hour, um, to do this. Now I will say at this point after the battle and your injuries. Uh, I'm gonna need constitution saving throws from the snelfs, please. Um, and one from you as well, please, Alexi. There's disadvantage? I uh, know, there's a straight throw. rolls for a saving throw. Jesus Christ, 10. Okay, that is level exhaustion for you, please. 18. Uh, that's a pass, you're fine. Two. Uh, you take another level exhaustion, please. Cool. Yeah. Cool. About an hour, comes in. Um, you're, you're going slow, you maybe walked two, two and a half miles tops. But at this point, the road starts to split and starts to go uphill a little bit, and there are a few rocks and boulders. You see a forest, maybe another mile's walk from here, if you want to try and push through for that. Um, um, sorry. Yes. E- exhaustion, second level, movement half? Uh, I don't... Isn't it saving throws? I, 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 did, I did know this at one point. I'm ashamed <laughs> I don't remember it right One moment, please, call up. <laughs> so many rules, though, in d <laughs> myself on being good Your speed is halved. Yeah, my speed is halved, so now we're really slow. Yeah. Okay. Mayo, Mayo is struggling to keep up. Yeah, so we are not making that hour. Uh, okay, mm-hmm. let's go for the closest option. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, I need you or... There's like blood leaking out from bo- the bottom of the head. Survival checks, please. Can I help 
with survival checks because I have only okay. one left. Yep. I possible. will help you with a survival check. Myla is still rolling at disadvantage. Yeah. Okay. But if I help her, she won't be, right? It's a straight roll then. Yeah. Because you have survival, right? Just I, I do. Oh, and it's good. Oh, it's extremely good. It's a 17 plus 7. Okay. <laughs> 24. <clears throat> 24. <laughs> okay. You know what? Let's, let's. Uh, D22, roll a D10 for me, please. Um, sorry. Um, roll a D10 for you. Certainly can. Yeah. That's a point. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a 10. It's a 10. Yeah. With a 10. Uh, walking for a moment, as the road comes up and crests and starts to come down a little bit, you do spot in the distance what appears to be an abandoned rest stop. An old wooden structure, somewhat rotted through, but some of it looked like a, a place to stop or stay for those heading into the mountains. Is that what I found? It is what you found with, yes, with, with that help, yes. Right, we'll, 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 we'll stop there. Um, and Mayway sort of behind Alexios. Um, her bandages need changing, so some of her wounds have opened. I'll do it. Yep, thank you. Please do it quickly. I yep. can smell them. Yep, it's okay. I'm on it. <laughs> All right, I'll do medicine. Medicine, okay. please, yep. Two levels of exhaustion, barely stand. And it's disadvantaged still, right? Uh, oh, dear. Uh, uh, oh, seven. You take, ah! you take Mayway's bandages off, and now you've noticed for the first time she's missing an ear. Uh, I know. I know. Would you, we need to wrap it up again quickly. I, the, okay, the I'm shock. On it. I'm on it. I'm trying. Um, can I cast healing word to help stem the bleeding? It would. It will it'll stem the bleeding. Give give Mayway a bit of a bit of health back. Yes. I mean, it's mostly just to stem the bleeding at this <coughs> point, so she doesn't get fed on. Uh, cool. Oh, yeah, first level. You watch yourself. <laughs> Using the powers as hungry work, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, one d four plus five. Do you roll that or do I? You go ahead. Oh. Two plus five. Seven. Seven. I'm up to twenty Seven. hit points. You have more hit points than me now. You're at twenty hit points. Yeah, your squirrel, your healing does magic for me. You arrive eventually at the shack. <laughs> oh, baby. A cursory glance. Can I hear yet, please? Uh, make a Constitution saving throw. With disadvantage, because no, I have No, straight roll. Okay. Guidance. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. It's nice. Yeah. No. 22? Yeah, dirty 22. Dirty 22. Yes. With, with, with Myla healing you, putting her hand on your ear and healing you, and also causing oh. guidance, things finally come into focus, and the, the ringing narrows and stops. Thank you. The shack has been long abandoned. There's mess and shit and a, a few old fireplaces, it's clear. Others have camped here before. And you are just off the road, but apart from a beam that doesn't look very sturdy keeping the roof up, it seems as good a place as any to at least try and get some rest. Is, there a, is it all one room or is it kind of like a back it's room? One, it's one room. It was okay. once many rooms, but old walls have, have yeah. fallen through. Uh, if there's any sort of shutters or anything, Alexi's going to try and close those. Uh, you you get work. a couple of boards and try and block yeah. something out. Yeah, just as best. much sort of like cover from people seeing it. You can make possible. a survival check if you want to. Wanna... Sure, yep. fuck it. <laughs> 17. Cool. Thank you. Uh, right. Um... Oh, I can hear. I Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm, I'm, I'm really glad. Um, you you both need to have ah. some rest. Uh, my, we'll, we'll talk about it in the morning. Oh my. Um, you've got my coat. You can use that as a pillow. Um, maybe not on. Oh, I failed again. No, you, you didn't. You didn't fail. It was um. It was an ambush, uh, and I. I I should have seen it. We all should have seen it. Oh. I am the worst library official ever. <laughs> oh. I mean, I've never heard you shush someone, so, um. <laughs> I need to go to sleep. I need to go to sleep. 
there's um there's there's the space there. Um, you should as well. Yeah. Myla's like gonna take the the cloak and basically yeah, Hobbit rock down just so she's like vanished into the floor. Uh, we'll <laughs> we'll um we'll, we'll keep a, a, a watch. Sure. Um, do I still have Cyril? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's still with you. Maybe gonna curl up in a little ball and like snuggle. Snuggle up Cyril. Alexi takes out his flask and and just pass out. <laughs> It, 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 it's never a pleasant experience when you can smell someone's blood, so, um, you know. Mm. <laughs> Tell me about it, mate. Who's Aiden? Aiden? Yes. Aiden is the closest person I know. He uh, is maybe what people would call a father. Oh, your, your creator? Yes, very much ah. so. Uh, very, very distinctive uh, mannerism. It was. Yes, he is how you say uh, very elegant and noble. Yes, he would be what people call high in society. Really? Yes. Like me, high in society. He told me that he could talk the hind legs off a donkey, and one day he would be a millionaire. Ah. I believe I know the type. You know him? No, 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 not, not, um... Very charismatic, um, I, I have a, I have a sister like that. Ah, was she called Aiden as well? No, <laughs> no, 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 she wasn't, isn't. Mm. Did uh, she make you too? No, no, I'm, I'm older. Ah. I think. You made her? No, 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 that's, that's not how um, that works. Okay. Uh, yeah, the conversation suddenly cuts off as you hear the galloping hooves and the wooden wheels as you peek outside and see 15, 20, 25 horses and carts all galloping quickly up into the mountains across the quiet path. Red and orange fires blazing past and streaks lighting up dark blue and copper-coloured armour. Long beards all seem to flow in the wind and the snow shouting and chanting as, as they're running quickly, post-haste. You look forwards towards the city a couple of miles away and see a couple more, all travelling in the same direction. What are they shouting? You can make a perception check. If you I'd like. love to. Disadvantage, please. Uh, oh, a it doesn't need one, it. doesn't so. need it. It's, it's oh, noisy and it's dim. Yeah. Yeah. Can I go for one as well? Uh, you absolutely can. <laughs> yep. 13. 13. A bit full in here, uh, you make out the word Sarek. You make out the words frostrum. You make out the words emergency. And the last thing you hear is do not disappoint him again. Come on, lads, this is it. We can't let him down. You know what happened last time. Sleep doesn't come easily for you, Mayway. The echoes of Savit K. Fury's face pressing against you, taunting you. You think that you've lost your uniform. You've lost a lot in the past few days. More than I currently know. Things seem pretty hopeless at the moment. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's pretty apparent that maybe you're not cut out to do this job. Milo, this is the closest you've ever come to death. And this is the first time maybe you're questioning, was leaving the Val actually worth it? D22 and Alexi, as you keep watch through the night, you realise both how little you know, but also how much you potentially care for your friends. You've experienced anger for potentially the first time today. How are you processing that at the moment? I uh, talked to Alexi about it. Absolutely. <laughs> Something unusual happened when we were in battle today. Uh, uh, the explosion, yes. <laughs> yes. Well, well when, when Myla was injured, uh, I felt a great desire to 
jump on her and protect. <clears throat> oh, um. Admittedly, when the explosion happened with the bag, I lost attention very, very quickly yeah, to see what had happened. N- but very quickly, you... that returned back to Myla again. Right, um. First of all, I'm going to begin this with an apology because there are uh, two other people who uh, uh, understand feelings and I don't. Um, but that's 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 anger. That you you wanted to you were angry that someone had hurt your friend and you you wanted to help them. Um, I I will admit I may have at one point also lost my calm during all of that, uh, but that. That's, that means that you... That just means that you care. There was an overwhelming feeling that if Milo was stay down, then she would not come back. Does this mean that she is deaded? Um... Yes. Yes. She cannot be rebooted after? Not normally, no. There are certain uh, magics that exist that, that, that can uh, circumvent death, but... Uh, it's it's not it's not a common or affordable practice. You can bring people back from the dead. Well, not me personally. You can bring someone back from the dead. It is possible with How magic. How do you do that? Uh, magic, uh, use of arcana and so on. Um, ah, arcana. Yes, certain uh, certain uh, priests can do so. Uh, I have a relative grasp of arcana, but for some reason it lives inside me rather than me being. How you say intelligent of the skill? Uh, innate. Yes. Mm. But it sounds like your programming is is, is uh, adapting to uh, outside influence. I think that's the way that I was made, potentially. Well, that, that makes you, if you'll forgive me for being quite um, clinical, uh, that that you are a fascinating, beyond advanced piece of machinery. I'm sorry. Does that insult you? I did not wish to offend. I do not understand why that is offensive. Uh, uh, some may consider it a little impersonal. No, that feels fine. I have been very, uh, how you say, um, independent and progressive and adaptive through my life. Then maybe this um, new feeling is uh, the next stage of your adaptiveness. But when you said I should kill the person from anger who was disrespecting me, or Aiden, earlier, that was wrong. Where do you put the line between what is right and wrong? My moral compass only tells me certain things, like yellow, bad, green, good, red, indifferent. Um, Where do you draw the line on these questions? I'm trying to figure that out as well. For the last hundred years, I've been... Those two are in there wounded and asleep. A few months ago, had I been traveling and found them, I would have drained them both without a second thought. Wouldn't have even thought about it. It was only until recently I stopped thinking of everyone, with the exception of you, because you physically can't be, as food. So I, I don't know where the line is. I'm trying to find the line. You are saying you are learning as well. Yes. Ah. So let's try and find the line together. Together. And as you talk and explore these things together, do either of you rest or do you keep watch the entire night over your snow elf friends? If they need it, we'll, we'll, we'll stay up. I'll stay up. I'm, I'm quite. I've got the one level of exhaustion, but yeah, I think Alexi's in um, Papa Bear mode or the closest <laughs> Alexi's going to get to that. Can you get a half? If I, can I do a shift on my own? Does it have to be two people? You can do a shift on your own. Yeah, maybe. If, if, if you want Alexi to, I could to, to take alarm, us a rest. I could do alarm you, and you could and you could um, I could set alarm and you could at least have four hours. So you'd get a half. You wouldn't be exhausted anymore. That's no. That's we need a full eight hours. hours. I need really? only hours so you can get four hours. Yeah. And but you would, you you would need still need sleep, an hour to get a spell back. Hmm? You don't need to sleep, do you? He does to get his spells back. I need to get my spells uh, back. Yeah. Like, we all need our stuff back. Then maybe we should do shifts and you just wake some of us up. Wake okay. Us up. How many um, levels of exhaustion will I lose for sleeping? Both one. or just one? Um, I know it's done differently some games. I'll say one if it's an uninterrupted. Yes, yeah, so you want to wake me up because then I'll be fine. Okay. What I will say, I need a wisdom saving through from you, please, to see if it actually is, if you actually get rest after the trauma you've just experienced tonight. Interesting. 
Oh, come on, ladies. Oh, oh the, no. Oh, but you've been doing so good. I'm afraid, given what you've experienced. Total of one. <laughs> the memory's fresh in your head. You Mechanically, you get the rest for your abilities, but you are still exhausted twice over when you wake up. <laughs> God, it's a bit close to life. Do you fall asleep, Alexia? Um, if it's being offered, yeah. You slowly drift off with the sounds of screams and the repeating image of Milo being lifted into the air and dropping dead over and over in your head. And every now and then you wake back up just to make sure she is still awake and breathing. And as morning eventually comes to a watchful D22, you all have a long rest, except you suffering somewhat of a victory, but also a heavy defeat. And that's where we end tonight's episode. Heavy. <laughs> we lived though. Shit on it. Yes. <laughs> Still alive. Oh, if Alexi one day reveals they actually talks just like Aiden, I will fucking lose my mind. <laughs> All right, prick! <laughs> <laughs> um, we're still Thank filming. you so much. <laughs> All right, pricks. Thanks so much. No, no you're not pricks. No, we love no, you very much. No. Uh, it's been a really good episode, a heavy episode. Yeah. Um, but just how we like it. Just how we like it. A bit of a bit of emotional core, a bit of feeling. So we're gonna leave it there. We're gonna say good night and thank you. Uh, but check out the post-show chat. There's a lot for us to talk about yeah. briefly because it's getting late. Uh, but once again, as always, thanks very much, and uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Kakite. Bye, 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 bye. 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 <laughs> I mean, that was impressive. That was, yeah. We're clearly, you know, we're on the wavelength, which is good because... <coughs> fuck. <laughs> um, you good because fuck? Because, like, it's good Matt. we're on the same wavelength. Um, what? <laughs> take this grape. Yeah. Throw it into Sasha's mouth from distance. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, all right. All right, ready? No. Sasha. <laughs> Roll hey. in this, please, Jeffa. Sasha, you ready? One, two... two. Oh, I was so close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear.